In 2001, my dad got a new teaching position at Clarion University and needed a car for transportation. Since he would be commuting every day, my mom wanted to get a new car with high safety ratings. Her research pointed towards Oldsmobile Aurora. After my mom found the car in which my dad would drive every day, he began to get excited about his new vehicle to be. Dad always said he was going to drive the car until it reached 200,000 miles because he had never had a car that lasted that long. Once my dad got the new car, he drove it every day to work and also drove it for the trips he would take with me. T-ball practice, fishing, and bike riding were some of the many miles this car had seen. From the first day my dad got the new car, we both fell in love with it. Dad's love of the car provoked my interest in the vehicle and created a new bond between father and son. Countless hours were spent in the driver's seat of the car trying to emulate Dad. Once I was 12, Dad saw my passion and love for the car and taught me to drive around my yard. Donuts were done and the yard was torn up, but me and Dad continued to grow closer. Years passed and my 16th birthday was approaching. Dad told me once I got my driver's license, he would hand the car down to me and he would get a new one. Nothing thrilled me more at the thought of having my own first car, one that my dad had cherished. For my first driving test, my dad drove with me for three hours to get to the test so I could take it when I was eligible. This was because I did not schedule in advance, but it was an adventure. I failed twice before I got my license, but dad was proud nonetheless. The day I got my license, the car was mine. My first adventure of my own was the high school football game. My first car and the thought of dad went with me everywhere. Miles filled the odometer and it seemed like dad's goal of 200,000 miles was near. Over the winter, I got the car stuck on a tree stump covered in snow and it was taken to the shop. This was the beginning of the end of the car. It was deemed unsafe to drive for numerous reasons and dad and I both hoped that the car would last forever. My dad and I took one final drive to the yard as we did when I was young to park the car behind the garage. That's where it would sit for the rest of the winter. Spring rolled around and the car sat as a constant reminder of the better part of 14 years of my dad and I's life. We both wanted to see it reach 200,000 miles. It came time to decide what to do with the car. I wanted to race it in the demolition derby for one last hurrah. Dad made a deal with me that if I advertised the car on Craigslist for a week and nobody bought it, I could race it in the demo. After three days of being on Craigslist, someone came to look at the car and said he would let me know by the end of the next day if he wanted to buy it. My heart sank and Dad's also did slightly. I could tell he did not want to get rid of the car. The next day came and no response. We waited the rest of the week and there was no other offers. I began to get the car ready to be raced in the world's largest demolition derby, something that was fit for my first car. During the first heat of the race, I pulled into the dirt arena where my car would have its final run. I knew it never made it to 200,000 miles, but I was going to make sure the car wasn't forgotten. My dad was standing in the pit area watching up close, and I could tell he had never been so proud. Early in the race, my ignition fuse was knocked out and my car was shut off. After that heat, my car was towed back into the pits where the problem was solved. I could not race in the re-entry heat. Pulling in one more time, I watched my dad as the race started. 19 cars were in the arena and I struck two, which disabled them. About 10 minutes into the race, there was only four cars left when a fire broke out. I had to stop and once the fire was extinguished, I kept going. My engine soon overheated and I ended up taking fourth place and I was about a minute away from winning. As I sat waiting for the race to end, I watched my dad smile in amazement that the car had made it that far. We were both proud and loved that car. Even though it didn't reach 200,000 miles, it took me and dad on countless adventures. This final trip for the car, the final miles it drove in front of a crowd of 5,000 people, was a fit way to send it to the junkyard. The car in which my dad and I had long reached 200,000 miles was now a pile of scrap. We were anything but disappointed. This car was a piece of our lives and it was never about reaching the magic number of 200,000. It was a matter of a bond between father and son and countless memories made from anything to t-ball practices to destroying the car in the demolition derby. My first car was temporary, but these memories are forever.